Today, we're learning about how to use the multiplication facts we know to help solve harder multiplication problems. Let's take a look, Zippy! Hm. Oh, wow, we're excited today, Cookie! We're getting really good at how to solve multiplication problems now, Zippy! That's why I'm so excited! Okay, so let's have a look then. So, let's take a look at the 2 times tables. We can see that 2 times 1 equals 2, 2 times 2 equals 4, 2 times 3 equals 6, 4, 2 times 4 equals 8, and 2 times 5 equals 10. Now, the 4 times tables are a bit harder than the 2 times tables. However, there is a really simple way to work out our 4 times tables. We know that 4 is double 2. So, look, all we have to do is double the answers to the 2 times tables to find the answers to the 4 times tables. So, if we look at 2 times 1 equals 2, then we know 4 times 1 is double that answer, so what's double 2 is 4. If we do 2 times 3 equals 6, then 4 times 3 is double 6, which gives us 12. Now, if we know the 4 times tables, that means we can also work out the 8 times tables, because 8 is double 4. So if you look at 4 times 1 equals 4, then 8 times 1 is double that answer. So what is 4 add 4, which will give us 8. If we now look at 4 times 2 equals 8, then we can work out what 8 times 2 is, because we double the other answer, which is 8, so 8 add 8 will give us 16. Hmm, now, can you think of any other times tables where this method might work? Well, we can use the three times tables to find the answers to the six times tables. We can then find the 12 times tables by doubling the 6 times tables. And if we know our 12 times tables, we could even double that to work out the 24 times tables. This is incredible, Zippy! It is, isn't it, Cookie? So, what's the next trick, Zippy? Well, how about 14 times 5? What? How can we do that? Simple, Cookie. We first of all partition 14 into tens and units. So, we have 110 and 4 units. Now we can multiply it easily. We can now do 10 times 5 and 4 times 5. So, what is 10 times 5? Mm, 50. Good. And what is 4 times 5? 20. Fantastic. Then, remember, when we partition a number, we have to add the two answers back together. So, what is 50 add 20? That's 70. Fantastic! So that means 14 times 5 gives us 70. Wow! That's brilliant! Okay, now it's your turn, guys. This time, you've got two different questions to have a go at. First one is 3 times 6. So, how many different ways 
can you show how to get the answer? How can you also show how you can check if your answer is correct? For question two, all you have to do is show us how you would work out the answer. Remember, bring your work to the next lesson so we can discuss it together. If you get stuck at all, remember to write down any questions you have. Good luck guys, see you tomorrow.